I made a video recently talking about the uh, logic analyzer. One of the things that I had the logic analyzer plugged into was this board that I've been experimenting with. So this is an Arduino clone and this device here, it's obviously a four times seven segment display. So I, I can't remember where I got this from, um, but it was from some China based seller through eBay, I think. And um, so this sat in the toolbox for several months and I didn't get around to do anything with it. And I thought it'd be fun to plug it in one afternoon and see if I could figure out what I could do with it. So as you see, I've got the counter. I've written some code to make the counter go up to 9999 and then reset to zero again. And, um, and I'll show you how I did that. So this is obviously it's got the four, four times seven segment display, but on the back here, you can see there are two chips. So there are two driver chips for the LED display. And these turn out to be the 74HC595 which is a uh, shift register and serial to parallel converter, uh, which turns out to be quite a useful thing when you want to minimize the number of wires going between the Arduino and the display. So I'll, I'll describe how that works. So the 74HC595, what it does is it has eight outputs like that, which in this case, uh, it's got connected up to a, a load of LEDs like that. And then it has an input, which is a, a serial input. So what happens is that a train of bits comes in here. So let's say We've got one, 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 and then four zeros, zero, 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 zero. So there's, there's no pulses there. And what it does is it makes those serial bits appear on these, up on these output pins. So we get one, 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 zero, 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 zero. So in this case, we'd end up with four LEDs all switched on and then the next four LEDs switched off. Now, if you reverse engineer this thing a little bit and follow some of the wires, what you find is that there are actually two 74595s and they're connected in series. So we've got the outputs here and we've got the input coming in from the Arduino and there's also this output called QH and what that does is once we get to eight once we get to eight bits all the bits start clocking out from the QH interface as well in other words if you write 16 bits in a row to the input, then the first eight bits end up in this chip and then the second eight bits end up in that chip. And what they've done quite cleverly with this is they've made these four outputs here into the row. In, in other words, they select row three, row two, row one, row zero. So, so you can select a digit on the display and then the next eight bits actually describe the, the actual seven segments themselves. So, you, so this describes the pattern that will be written to the row that you selected. So by shifting 16 bits in here, you can make one of the digits light up in the pattern that you choose. So this this display is not really showing 
all four digits at the same time. It's actually dashing backwards and forwards and it's, it's writing the digits very fast and our eye and our brain is telling us that that two is there constantly on the display. So let me show you the code in the Arduino that achieves writing to this display. So in the Arduino IDE here, if we look at the main loop first, so here the program dashes around this loop. So, so loop in Arduino is something that gets called automatically over and over again. And all I'm doing inside this loop is I'm incrementing a counter and then I call this function display number to, to, dis to show something on the display. So this display number function is something that I've written and here are the guts of it here. So, so this loop goes through all the, the digits and so it prints a digit onto the display and then it divides the number by 10 basically to get the next interesting digit that I'm going to write to the next column. And then there's a short delay here which allows your eye time to uh, to be able to see that character on the display. And set digits, if we look further up at the set digit command. So this is where I'm actually talking to the 74HC595. So this set digit function is something that I built from looking at the data sheet for the 74HC595. So this writes some uh, row information. So the uh, rows 3210 um, need to go into one of the 74595s and then the actual data of the digit, so that's the shape of the number, has to go into the second 74595. And so this function shifts out the the 12 bits of information that I'm interested in into the 74595s. And I also have to toggle this pin here, um, STCP, which I've defined up here. So the STCP, um, actually on the on this board, on the actual board, it's marked as R clock for some reason. But this is... Um, this is basically what's called a latch. So when you raise the latch pin, what happens is the data that you've shifted in uh, actually gets transferred to the LEDs. So when you do this, when you take the latch low and then you take it high, the pulse causes that data to latch into the, the display. So that's, that's the thing that actually makes the digit appear visibly on the, on the screen. So this is a pretty simple program to uh, to follow and I'll make this available online so you can see how this is done. And so this, this array here, what this is doing is it's mapping between the digits 0 to 9 and the actual shape. So these numbers here represents um, actually what, uh, which ones are the seven uh, digits of the display are lit up. Actually after I wrote my Arduino sketch I found that someone on the Arduino forum had already solved the problem for this particular display so um, I wanted to show you this because this is really a much nicer program than the one that I've written and what something that's really notable about this one is if we scroll down here um, he's actually written an interrupt service routine um, which allows it to do the refreshing of the screen display in the background so you can do something useful with your Arduino sketch and then this interrupt service routine looks after actually displaying the digits and making sure that the display is 
is visible. So um, so that's really nice. And I'll put a link to this in the video description below so that you can uh, download this guy's code as well because I think this is really nice. So um, let me show you what that looks like as well. I'll just upload that. And there we go. So he's got, so he's defined more than just the, the numeric digits on his. So he's got a alphanumeric message as well. So there we are. This is how uh, you can use the Arduino to drive a display using the 74HC595. And actually this chip you see a lot in uh, display technology. And I have some more displays using the HC595, which I'm also hoping to have in a video in the, in the next few weeks. So if you like this video, found it useful, please give me a thumbs up below um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, as ever thanks very much for watching